I did was log back into the map! Welcome back to Beware. And in this very special episode, it is also my 900th video, apparently. Isn't that wonderful? I have taken a break. Let's keep playing. Oh crap, it's loading. Just a moment longer. Oh, no. I'm longing for a hot soak. Who am I? The voice is female. I... Anyways, I'm very much so enjoying this map. Like, the jump scares... Yeah, I hate jump scares, but... I am definitely enjoying this experience. Uh, soak? Perfect. Just... Lights here. Oh. This is great. I love it. This one I needed. A hot soak. Did it get darker? It's getting darker. Isn't that wonderful? I'm so happy. Oh, I'm tired. Sure am. Uh, I assume let the night terrors begin? Oh, how soft. Yep, let the night terrors begin. We just... This map would be too easy if I didn't have night terrors. I'm calling it right now. Time for the morning news. Shit. I was wrong about the night terrors. Dang. They got me on that one. So how many people did I murder in my sleep? Hello, residents of Silent Town. It's time for another round of news. Hooray. It has been exactly two weeks since the gruesome accident at Wentig Mountain. Oh no! Around four in the morning, a man attacked the village at the foot of the mountain and could brutally kill every resident. Oh no! The police have agreed to release part of interview with the only survivor. In the middle of the night, a man stumbled upon us. Yeah. I saw him knocking every door and asking for something through the window. A moment later, I lay down. Then suddenly I was awakened by my next door scream. I went of my house and saw my friend dead. I ran to him quickly, but I was already too late. Suddenly I heard that the man. He was standing next to his car and I was terribly afraid at the moment. A month later he shot himself in the head. I didn't know what to do, so I went back home to car for help. But when I ran to, to the car, the body was gone. Sorry, I want to be added. The body was gone? The police have determined that the man who crashed his car was heading toward the mountain, likely to the house he had purchased. The problem, however, is that there is no house in that area. The question remains, where was the psychopath hidden? We will probably never know. On the bridge side, I'm going to be very, very, be very. Why did he do it? Did he I just have had a reason for going to those mountains? Did I just switch? Maybe there really is something there. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Am I doing this shit again?
Mildly upset that I gotta do this again. Oh, almost got me. You gotta be quicker than that. Oh! There was a second one! being a little wacky. Oh, no. Nope. Gotta go this way again. This is all very familiar. Like, what did I do? Something's gonna jump out at me. Oh, we're doing this again. That was a dream? Where is he? The f this map makes no sense anymore. Am I just... Am I repeating parts of this map? Like, this makes no sense. Um... Did I... I was the police woman, I think. I hear very strange music. Like, at one point I was the police woman, and now I'm back to being... Now I'm back to being me. Did the map bug out? And, like, repeat part of it? That monster very clearly came through the wall. No, it wouldn't have bugged out because the television broadcast. You know, we've reached a... I feel like horror maps have reached a new level of scary. Not because they're relying on jump scares. I, I've, I talked about it in my top ten... Uh, Minecraft map video, but I believe I bl I'm taking a page out of God. What's the name? Josh Strife Hayes. Jump scares are a cheap way of terror because it's a buildup to a release of tension, and then you laugh it off. I believe that the jump scare is can only be detrimental to a to a map to a Minecraft map. There he is. So instead of, like, jump scares, just cultivate... Is this the guy that killed himself when he crashed his car? Who am I? I don't understand who I'm supposed to be in this story. Is this the guy that, like... Sh this is the guy that shot himself that they were talking about, so then who am I? What is going on here? Am I supposed to do something? Can I just leave? No, I can't. Why am I... Just like stuck here. Nothing to interact with. Okay. Weird. That's not gonna be one of those things where I turn around and nah, he's still there. He's still dead. He's still dead. He said, trying to convince himself that he was in fact still dead. Just don't get it now. This story has become all different kinds of confusing for me.
What am I to be doing? Whom am I to be doing it to? Made it to the other side of the forest. That's on. I just went in a giant circle. I, pr I need to interact with the guy who shot self in head over there. And also my leg's not broken anymore. Like, I can run and jump and things like that. Like, I'm not injured anymore. I am very confused. Where is the, uh... all right, where am I in reference to the giant tree? I don't see the giant tree. Hello? Okay, there's, okay. Here is guy who shot self in head with gun. As you can clearly see, he dead. Yellows? Did I bug out the map? Who knows? Can't interact with anything. Hello, I have a guy here. I have a guy here, he dead. He was probably trying to head to his uh, cottage, cabin, or whatever. And he did not... That was spooky. That was really spooky, man. Well, I guess I'll just have to figure this out. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in our next episode. <laughs>